Hi, this is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com. I'm also on the Lawn Fawn Design Team, and I'm going to show you how to make this super cute card using Lawn Fawn stamps and the Perfect Layers, Perfect Tears rulers. A complete supply list will be at the end of the tutorial. Let's begin! The first thing we're going to do is use this Perfect Tears rulers, three of them. We're going to use three different textures to create the foreground on the card. So you'll need your rulers and then pieces of pattern paper. I'm using Daphne's Closet Petite Paper Pack Lawn Fawn Papers. And then you need the little tool that moistens the paper for easy tearing. So I have my card base and I covered it in post-its on the back just so that it doesn't get dirty and that's where we're going to be putting our foreground. So let's begin. So you take the ruler and make sure it's straight if you want straight lines. If you don't, then however angled you want. You put the ruler down and then using the pen, you just sort of prime it a little until it, the point is wet and then press down along where you want to tear. And you can moisten it several times and then you just take it and you tear it. Perfect line every time. So now I have some Lawn Fawn images that I'm going to stamp and then fussy cut out. And I'm not very good at coloring, so I'm going to stamp them on the cardstock colors that I want them to be. So I have pink. stamped and fussy cut images that I will add to my card. I decided that the hat was a little bit too big for the flamingo so I went with the bow tie. So I have my card base and I'm just going to hold it down with a little piece of washi tape so that we can stamp our scene. And remember we have this foreground to think of. So I have my stamps. I love clear stamps because you can see exactly where your stamping will be. So I'm going to stamp the sun and some clouds and some little flowers. So I have a good idea of where I'm going to put them. So now I'm going to start adhering everything down, including these. there's a much easier way and I'm just making my life difficult <laughs> and then if you want to you can add some sparkle and shine to them I'm going to color their beaks so I decided to put the twine at the bottom and I have a little tip for you if you're having a hard time tying a, a good bow wrapped around the card with the twine, you just tie one string around, cut off the excess, and put that little knot in the back. Or you can hide it in between your layers. And then using a dod, a mini dod, you just place it 
on your bow like that and then you can position it however you want. And now we can stamp our sentiment. So then you just embellish. I just added a small heart on her tail and two hearts at the top. Again, this is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com for the Lawn Fawn Design Team. Thanks for watching.